Cat people, does it seem like your little buddy is actively ignoring you? Yeah, that's because it is. I'm Anthony, this is D News, and we have talked about the insidiousness of cats before, specifically about their possible evil mind control powers. And now, a new study in the journal Animal Cognition says that your cat doesn't even care about you, and that it actively chooses to ignore you at all times. A team at the University of Tokyo went into 20 homes with house cats, hopefully they were invited, and while their owners were gone, played five recordings of their names being called. The first three were by strangers, the fourth was their owner, and the last was another stranger. Measuring things like the cat's eye dilation, head, ear, and tail movements, and vocalization during each call, the researchers found that the cats showed a greater response to their owner's voice, but didn't move for any of the voices at all, even a little. Its reaction was more like, oh, that dude's still here. That's surprising, rather than a, oh, I better respond to my buddy and master. So the cat knows you're there, it knows who you are, it just chooses not to respond to you, proving what we have known all along, cats are aloof jerks. Why isn't the relationship more like a dog? Dogs love us. Well, it has to do with how they were both domesticated. The latest theory on dog domestication says every adorable pup we own is a descendant of a long gone European gray wolf. Tens of thousands of years ago, we either started taking wolf pups with the aim of taming them, or tamer wolves started scavenging through our trash, getting closer and closer to us, seeing us as a source of food, and eventually the highest ranking member of their pack. We started breeding them to help us hunt, and all of a sudden, we've got a mutually better beneficial relationship. We have always been the boss, and we bred them to bring out specific traits in them that we enjoy. By comparison, recent genetic findings show that the house cat comes from Felis sylvestris, a wild cat that came into contact with humans about 9,000 years ago, which is actually where Sylvester the cartoon cat got his name. Compare that 9,000 years to the 19 to 32,000 years that we have been domesticating dogs, and it already makes sense that cats are less responsive to us. So anyway, we start farming. Felis sylvestris notices rodents and pests eating our crops and starts hanging out around us. Our breeding them has been less about obedience and more about just letting them hang out and do their thing. They chose the terms of their domestication and apparently we are cool with that, which is why your cat won't leave you alone when it needs something, but seems to turn on a cloaking device when you call for it heartless jerks. Why do we even love them? Even the researchers don't know. They conclude by stating the behavioral aspect of cats that causes their owners to become attached to them are still undetermined. Oh, cat people, you weird little enigmas, you. Let me know what you're even about down below and subscribe here for more D-News.